Boolean operators not only create extremely effective searches, they are tools that can save you a lot of time, energy, and frustration. But what are they exactly? Boolean operators are a way in which you, the searcher, are able to communicate with databases and search engines that require extremely specific strategies. Let's say you are looking for information about the use of cats in dementia therapy. You've already watched the How Library Stuff Works video on how to choose keywords and developed a search strategy which looks a little bit like this. Feeling keen, you plug all of these words into the database and come up with, well, not exactly what you were looking for. This is where Boolean operators come in. Boolean operators are a way in which we can refine, filter, narrow, or broaden our search. An effective search gives us the maximum amount of relevant information and the least amount of irrelevant information. First, let's talk about the Boolean operator AND. The AND operator is a way in which we can narrow and refine a set of search results. If we plug in the keywords cat therapy into our database, we can't be sure what the database is doing. But we may get back documents that only talk about cats or only talk about therapy. Obviously, documents like Cats in the Wild or Music Therapy for Infants aren't relevant to our search. By linking our keywords with the Boolean operator AND, we are able to limit our results to only documents that contain both the words cat and therapy. This ensures that both keywords are present in the articles we retrieve, narrowing our results. But what if you have the opposite problem? What if the most relevant articles to your topic don't actually contain the words cat or therapy? Can you think of an instance when this would happen? How about synonyms? Even though we may also like documents on treatments in addition to therapy, the search engine doesn't know this. This is where the OR operator comes in. By telling the database we want articles that contain the words treatment or therapy, we're able to retrieve more relevant documents than if we just use the word therapy, since only one of the keywords needs to be present. But wait. Did you know that PCAT is a popular healthcare assessment tool? When you are typing in CAT, the database is bringing back a ton of articles on PCAT, which is affecting your ability to find relevant documents. This is where the Boolean operator NOT comes in. The NOT operator is a way in which we can exclude results that are not relevant to our search, but are being recalled due to a specific keyword. So in our search, if we tell the database not PCAT, we are able to exclude any documents that contain the word PCAT and are probably not relevant to our topic. To summarize, this video has talked about three Boolean operators, AND, OR, NOT. AND is a way in which we can narrow a set of results. A common use of the Boolean operator AND is to link main concepts or keywords. When we use AND, the search engine knows to only retrieve documents that contain both the keywords linked by the operator. OR is a way in which we can broaden a set of results. A common use of the Boolean operator OR is to include all synonyms in a search. When we use the operator OR, the search engine knows to retrieve results that contain one or more of the keywords. NOT is another way to narrow a set of results. A common use of the Boolean operator NOT is to exclude terms that are frequently being retrieved but do not relate to our topic. When we use the operator NOT, the search engine does not retrieve any documents that contain the keyword following the operator. For more information, check out McMaster Library's Boolean Cheat Sheet or Kamaska Librarian.